I'm here at the Knox United Church in Embro, where the women of the community have been putting their hands and skills to work for a good cause. This quilting bee have been keeping very busy over the last few weeks. What started as several chests of leftover material has turned into over 20 quilts to be taken to the Women's Emergency Shelter of Woodstock. I happened to be on the board that donated the first money to the Women's Emergency Center and so that's been a soft spot in my heart. Not only are the abused women who seek help at the shelter in need, the shelter itself appreciates any donations. Well, we have to do a lot of fundraising in order to, to replace things like bedding, and we even have to do fundraising to provide some of our services and programs. So all of this type of donations means that we don't have to go out and spend money on articles such as bedding. And it's really nice for the women because they know the community cares. It's something handmade, which is always much more valuable and precious than something bought at a store. While the women of the group don't get the opportunity to see how much their quilts are loved, they imagine the solace the quilts bring. Well, when you're working on them, especially the crib quilts, uh, you wonder uh, what kind of a baby they will comfort at some point in time, and you hope that um, they will become a security blanket for them. But making quilts isn't the only thing that keeps the women coming back to the group. I love the companionship here and uh, we have a great time. With 20 quilts from crib size to queen size, the women of the community have been working hard to give a family in need something comforting in their lives and to show them that someone truly cares. Reporting in Embro, I'm Hope Caldwell.